Welcome to another edition of Lean Bites. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Paul Dean. In this edition of Lean Bites, I'm going to share with you my building codes for a successful lean journey. Now, over the years, I've had the privilege of implementing lean with large global organizations, and I've also had the pleasure of supporting a number of organizations already on the journey. In all these cases, I've learned about and applied methods and standard ways of working that have been very successful, which I call my building codes. Now, I'm sure many of you who are watching today are familiar with building codes, particularly for houses. You might use a contractor to do work on your house, or you might even have them build a totally new home. In all these cases, there are building codes they follow. And a building code is a set of regulations enforced by local and federal governments to create standards to which builders have to comply in order to achieve the right outcome. And the right outcome is a safe building that will stand the test of time against adverse conditions. It's kind of a technical framework without being too restrictive on the final design. That's why many houses might look different but conform to the same building codes. And many building codes have been born from best practice. Now the same applies to your lean journey. There are principles that I call common building codes that I've used over the years which have led to a successful lean journey. And I'm going to share them with you to hopefully support you on your lean journey. Now building code number one is build a simple and inclusive strategy. This is like the building plans of a house. Unfortunately, house building plans can be very difficult to read and understand. With Lean, when planning to bring significant change to an organisation, we need a strategy, which I believe must be simple and inclusive. Simple meaning easy to understand, easy to implement, easy to measure success. And inclusive means everyone has a part to play in the implementation. Everyone has the opportunity to contribute, everyone sees the clear vision, and everyone gets to regularly hear about the progress. Now my greatest advice is start small and don't overcomplicate the plan. The key being to bring everyone along on the journey. Now building code number two is build a respectful environment. On a building site, to achieve a successful house build, every builder has to work together. I'm sure you've seen this before. They have individual tasks, they have individual responsibilities over their own actions. They have to build trust with other trades whilst working side by side on the same building plan. The same applies to Lean. I think this starts as a philosophy, but must be quickly translated into the way we work, otherwise it will just appear as lip service. Since everyone has a part to play, success is only possible when we work together. And leaders must model the right behavior for everyone else. And Toyota's mandate for all employees is that they must make every effort to understand each other, take responsibility, and do our best to build mutual trust. And this is done in a psychologically and physically safe environment. The building code number three is build your people. When building a house, trade contractors must be taught the technical skills. It makes sense and allowed to apply them in order to effectively grasp the techniques needed. And the strongest skills are achieved when people are placed in that right environment where they constantly are learning. No matter what's the existing individual or corporate skill level, building a lean organization is based on a platform to, of building your employees. And I think this works well when you engage a lean mentor to guide and coach you, as well as networking with other organizations to learn from them. You need to work on the skills required to meet your current needs while thinking about the immediate future needs. And skills are best learned through a combination of theory and practical application. Give your people the opportunity to test and grow their skills through day-to-day -day on the job application while being supervised and supported. Never settle, but make this learning process continuous. Now finally, building code number four is build with flexibility. On the building site, there are typically many changes or disruptions to the plans that come about that must be responded by an alternate approach and alternate plan that keep the house project on track. For example, the unpredictability of the weather. When the rain comes, the building plans have to shift 
to accommodate the changes. Now many of these situations are not forecast, but they must be met with a great amount of flexibility. The same applies to your lean journey. There will be times when the strategy or the implementation plan has to be modified in order to keep on the right path. When issues arise that aren't predicted, the best outcome is to try and push through. Now keep the ultimate end game at the forefront of your thoughts. Keep your eye on the goal. Don't lose heart and never give up. I've seen situations where my plans have had to be modified due to people, product, or even when unpredictable external storms come up. And flexibility doesn't mean moving away from the strategy, but finding another way around the obstacles. I hope this has been very helpful in understanding how to build a successful lean journey. And before I let you go, I'm going to leave you with a quote. Whatever good things we build, they end up building us. Jim Rohn. Thank you for joining me on this edition of Lean Bites. Thank you.